Hey kids, it's Tommy. And for today's Tommy Log Tech, I want to talk to you a little bit about my Netgear Ready NAS N202 and Time Machine. So if you're a Mac user like myself, listen up. Time Machine is the best thing since sliced bread. If you've been living under a rock, here's the hustle. Ever since 10.5, you have a little tool built into your system that backs up everything. Every cookie, every password, every little crumb of your computer. Time Machine makes it so if you have to blow away your hard drive, get a new one for whatever reason, part of OS X built into the core will ask for your Time Machine backup, bring everything back as if you never lost a thing. It backs up every hour, every day, every week. It keeps backing up, just backing up. It's a set it and forget it. But up to this time, if you wanted Time Machine in a wireless mode, you had to either have an OS X server, or you're running like an Airport Extreme or a Time Capsule, and you hooked a USB drive onto it. Not anymore. With the ReadyNAS N202, setting up Time Machine could not be easier. Let me show you. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to log into your ReadyNAS. There's mine, Tommy-Netgear. Type in my username and super secret password. Logs in. There we go. Now you're going to go to the backup area. You're going to click backup. And you're going to go to where it says Time Machine. Now, I already have enabled a shared Time Machine. And what that means is you can have multiple users, but you're going to use the same space. You can set the capacity for it. I have 500 gigs set up for my Time Machine. If you want to do a private Time Machine where everybody has their own kind of sequestered spot, you can set up users and you can say how much space each person can use. That's simple. Now you're going to go into Time Machine. You're going to select your backup disk, which is appropriately named Time Machine. It says Time Machine on Tommy-Netgear. You're going to use it. I've already set mine up. It's going to find it. Now when you go and look at your Time Machine preferences, it's going to say, looking for disk, preparing disk, backing up. It is that simple. Mac users, get one of these, back up wirelessly. Look, Mom, no wires. People have asked, Tommy, how long did Time Machine take? I have about 350 gigs on my hard drive. If I did a USB Time Machine, that probably would have been five, maybe six hours. Over USB 2. USB 3, less. Wirelessly, it took a couple days, but that's just your first backup, and you're not backing up 350 gigs every day. Once I did my initial backup, gosh, maybe 15, 20 minutes every time it backed up, you're in good shape. Sometimes even less. I mean, it all depends on how often you uh, make big files. If you're doing videos, it'll take longer. If you're not doing videos, it'll take a lot shorter, but it is rock solid. Worked every time, bam, totally 100% Tommy approved. Ready NAS, Netgear, Time Machine, Mac OS X users, match made in heaven. I love it. This is Tommy with Tommy Log Tech. I answer all my comments. I answer all my emails. Please subscribe. I appreciate your time. Talk to you later.